All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, this is uh, an unboxing and walkthrough of the Yumi Digi U Watch 3. This is their latest offering right now, and this is for men and women and children and teenagers and whoever. Uh, you can uh, get about 10 plus days out of this uh, watch. It says a very small battery, which is 210 milliamps. This is something that we know smartwatches probably don't uh, have the biggest batteries, but uh, this Yumi Digi watch has a 210 milliamp hour battery inside charging time says it's about two to three hours so keep that in mind on that first go around it probably take that long but a watch that can last you for 10 days is definitely worth it lasting for two hours on a charge so or taking two hours to charge so this is the box that it comes in uh, we'll get into it it is actually waterproof at uh, 5 ATM waterproof uh, fitness so uh, this is where they have it listed um, lots of modes in it you can uh, receive calls, messages, all your notifications and everything is compatible with iOS and Android. Just needs to be above iOS 9 and Android 4.4. That's weird. Um, like I said, you can get SMS messages, uh, SNS notifications as well. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Instagram, all the goodies that you like um, uh, for this. So you got your display for the uh, messages and everything. It's going to be a regular smartwatch, but I want to get into what the interface looks like. Now I went with the um, Mandarin Blue, uh, or excuse me, Marina, Marina Blue. I said Mandarin, Marina Blue. Um, I'll cut it open here. This is the way it'll come to you. Now the good part is you can grab this watch for 39 bucks at the recording of this video. Uh, so, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, you want a nice affordable watch, uh, please do so. Uh, here's how it came. Looks like they stick it through here to get it to stay in. Uh, this is just a little shell. And here's the watch itself. Uh, get my glasses here. You can see on the front, it says, please charge to activate uh, before you use it. So you'll need to put it on the charger. Uh, before we get it going and again I went with this um, marina blue just because it's different um, and I, I, I saw the shape of this and I thought you know what I'm like I'm not gonna get a black one uh, I'll get this one right here which is completely different in color than something I would probably wear you can see how it's gonna look on my wrist which is gonna look pretty cool <clears throat> so here's the charging cable here that you get It's probably going to be one of those cables where it uh, sticks on like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I need to get a charging brick so I can charge this. I've got a lot of these cables. And in the box, you just get a thank you and you get the user manual. Uh, and it's in color. So that that's cool. We'll get it all set up. It's pretty nice. Letting you know some of the modes and stuff that you have for the icons and everything. Uh, this will be a pretty cool um, interface here. Uh, so there's probably going to be a um, application that I'll need download and install the app so there it is right there so sorry about that let's go ahead and get into the Play Store and we'll download the application uh, d -d 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 scan the QR code or just download the very fit pro app all right very fit pro and it starts to pop up on the list right away. It's that first one right there that we need to download. And this will help you communicate with the watch itself. But I'm going to go ahead and grab a um, <clears throat> grab a battery pack so I can stay in this view here. Because I want to go ahead and get this in one video for you. So you can um, kind of get the gist of what you're going to be getting, getting into. So let me grab a battery pack to power it. Uh, here's the app though first uh, you can see how it how it looks here it's just giving you some kind of lifestyle stuff uh, let's agree to everything and let's while we're using it all right so let's go ahead and get a power some power going let's peel that off And you can see it starting up. Uh, it is pretty much already full. I'm going to hold it down.
I'm gonna take it off the charger now that it's got a little juice. I don't think I need to have it on there. Here it is right here, it found it immediately. Let's sync it and you should see the time and everything update on here. Uh, confirm and we'll bind the device. It is vibrating and it's letting me know, hey, we're linking up to your phone. All right, so it wants me to go through all these settings for mail and all this, so let's do this. All right, it is officially updated. Uh, as you can see, let's go with the application first here uh, so you can get some just of what it looks like. So this is the application. It's The funny thing is I put in my weight of 240, 65, you know what I'm saying? And, and it put in I need to be 132 pounds. I'm like, <laughs> in what world? I would look like a, anyway. Uh, but these are, <laughs> it's, it's incredible, but that's what it said. I don't know whose standards those are, but that's hilarious to me. Uh, so here you go. You got your calories, your miles, and your activity duration. You got the device here, and that's just going to be the IMEI and everything, the serial number and all that stuff. You got the firmware. Uh, you've got music controls, alarms, uh, call alerts. Let's turn call alerts on. All right. Uh, yes, let's save the changes. So now we've got... Um, I don't want to turn those on. Oh my gosh! When you turn on the uh, alarms for uh, when it's telling you to get up and wake up and all that stuff, oh, it's so annoying. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn some of these things on here. We'll just turn on a few things. Oh, <laughs> this isn't for. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just let's let's keep it going. I was only supposed to turn on one of those. Um, let's get back in there. Allow notifications. Here we go. And it's already picking up Twitter and Instagram, so that's a that's a huge plus. Let's save the changes, and we'll just go from there. We'll we'll do that for now. Um, but um, let's see here. You got RedSense. Let's go details. I haven't done anything yet. So just got it. Uh, so this is ultimately this is the application. So it'll it'll pick up more things once it actually um, starts to uh, I, I start to move around. Now let's get to the device here. Here's the device itself. Zoom a little bit. All right, here it is right here. Uh, so this it was already at 100%. You can see I got a Bluetooth notification at the top of there. Um, swipe down for your messages. Swipe up for your steps. Left and right is gonna give you all these things. So let's go ahead and put it on. Uh, I know this looks like my Apple Watch. Uh, I'm sure, or my Fitbit. One of those, that's the design it's going after. Uh, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, that's a little tight. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got this color. You know, I have all black smartwatches pretty much. Uh, so, you know, I'll do something different sometimes. All right, it feels good. I can just tell you right off the jump, it, it feels really, really good on, on, on the wrist. I'm going to adjust down a little bit. There we go. It, it feels really good on my wrist. So swipe this way and you've got heart rate. So let's go ahead and do a heart rate real quick. And you don't want to talk during the heart rate. That's a long read for a heart rate. But let's get out of here. I don't want to stay in there too long. It's around 73, that's about right. So you go into sport here, you got your run, your walk, your biking, your hiking, all your activities are in here. You hit the button, the crown pretty much is button on the side to go back and you've got to relax there. You've got an alarm. Let's go into the relax and this is going to set you a timer or something to where basically you don't want to be bothered and that's ultimately what that's about. I turned down the microphone just a little bit. Now, um, that is what that's going to be for. Obviously, you can set an alarm here. There's no alarm set, so you can set an alarm. You got a timer, music controls, settings. We'll get into that. You got your sports records. This is basically keeping track of everything you've done on, in your history from working out. So um, for the settings here, you've got the dial. And this is basically you can change the watch interface. So that's the one that's currently on. I can change it to this one. I can change it to that one, which is pretty cool. And then I can change it to this one. This is ultimately the four that you get. So this is, the I'm a simple guy, so that's definitely what it's about for me. 
Uh, you got your dimming. You can put it to three and then two and then one. So it's, it's default to two. That's where it's at. And then you just go to about. And that's pretty much it. Version one, two, uh, 1 2 looks like. So swiping that way, and if you swipe this way, you get some other information. Uh, it looks like the, the current information. Oh no, this is this what this is like their drop down. So, um, like you know, if you swipe down on most watches and it's got Wi-Fi, vibrate, and all that, do not disturb. That is what this is. So that's what that's for. And that's ultimately it, man. This is a pretty simple. Let me see what happens when I long press. Nothing. Okay, great. This is a simple watch face setup that I truly like and I want to give you kind of a full walkthrough I'll follow up on this in about a week or so or 10 days if I can go 10 days on the battery um, my current watch which is this watch here this is my favorite watch right here this watch can literally go for about three days this is a tick watch for pro LTE it goes for about um, two two days two and a half three days on a single charge so let's see how long this one can go. And this is gonna bring me the same type of notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and send a text message to myself and see if it gets my text messages. Actually, let's go ahead and call. Let's call and see if it actually rings on the watch. It's definitely ringing on my phone. I can see it ringing. There it is, finally came through. All right, so it came through on my phone. Let's go ahead and reject it. By swiping like that oh wait no there we go reject it so there we go the calls and everything work that's actually pretty cool uh, so this is a, a full walkthrough and a look at the operating system this is a very clean watch man um, it, I like that it's a touch screen um, and let's go ahead and send a text message real fast let's send a test and let's see if it picks up my, my text message. It should. I feel it vibrate on my phone first. And also the vibration, there we go. There it is right there. Let's see that I, that I brought it in uh, with the text message. The vibration on the watch is really good, folks. So if you're wondering about that, there it is, man. So this is a closer look at the Yumi Digi U Watch 3. Uh, there are a ton of smartwatches out there that you could possibly get, folks, for a really low cost. For what we do, we want fitness. We want to be able to get our notifications on our wrist just to be sure if we need to even answer the phone or look at it on your phone or not. So this is a good looking watch. Uh, and um, I, I think it's hot, man. I think it's for 40 bucks. I was trying to find a direction to go. Uh, with you know, because smartphones they're fun to review, uh, but th a new smartwatch is is because you know remember back in the day I was not a fan of smartwatches. You remember those days? Anyway, this watch comes in uh, the marina blue that I got here, which is like a teal or dark green. It's it's pretty cool. And it comes obviously uh, cinnabar red and then the black. Now the cinnabar cinnabar red. The watch isn't red, that's which is why I didn't really. It's it's got, it's got a black body and a black um, little clasp. It looks really cool. I think a lot of people are gonna fall in love with that one, but I just wanted something different than black. So, this is it. This is the um, Marina Blue, the brand new Yumi Digi smartwatch fitness trainer U Watch Three, water resistant, everything, heart rate monitor. Um, you know, it, it works with iOS and Android and what more do you want? So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoy the extended look and walkthrough for this thing. I'll let you know how it does for steps and how accurate it is and everything else. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Take care.